Hello everyone and welcome to Python Tutorials. In this tutorial we will learn how to save NumPy arrays and matrices to files and how to load them from files. But before I start with explanations, I kindly ask you to press the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks a lot! Okay, let's start. The first step is to import the NumPy library. We do that by typing import NumPy as np. Then Let's define a random matrix. I will call the matrix random matrix and I will define it as a completely random matrix. To do that, I will type np.random.randn and I will specify the size of the matrix. The matrix will be, let's say, 2 by 3 matrix. Okay. And here's our matrix. Perfect. We can use at least two approaches for saving this matrix to a file. In the first approach, we'll save the matrix that's represented by this block as a text file. We can, for example, specify the extension as text or comma separated value. And in the second approach, we will save this matrix as a binary npy file. This is the extension of the file, npy. First, let us explain the first approach. That is, let's explain how to save this matrix as a text file. To do that, we will use this function, numpy.savetext. First, we will specify the name of the file. Let's call the file, for example, matrix file and over here we will specify the extension. I will use comma separated value. Then the second argument is the name of the file. It is random matrix and over here as a third argument I need to specify the delimiter. This character called delimiter will be used to separate numbers. That is I will be using commas to separate numbers. And let's execute this line and let's see the output. Okay, so let's see our file. Here it is. Let's open this file, for example, with Notepad, and let's see the numbers. Here they are. First number, second number, third number, then I have a new row, and then I have the numbers in the second row. Perfect. One thing to observe over here is that numbers are separated by commas as we expected. Okay, let's continue. Next, let's learn how to load this matrix from this file and let's verify the results. To load the matrix data from the file, we need to use this function, load text. We specify the name of the file and we specify the character that's used for delimiter. And let's execute this code line. Here it is. Now, let's compare this matrix with our original matrix. The best way to do that is to define a new matrix. I will call it double check. And then I will write something like this. Double equality sign this matrix. So what happens over here? This expression will return true if the entries of random matrix are equal to the entries of the loaded matrix. And let's see that. Here it is. And I will simply assign the result to double check. And here it is. Voila! Everything is true, which means that the procedure is working. We are able to save the matrix to a file and to load the matrix from the file and no errors. Perfect. Over here we can for example change the extensions. Let's use the text extension and let's change the extension over here and let's see what happens. Where is our matrix? Here it is. It's a simple text file and let's load the results and let's double check everything. 
perfect. Everything works as expected. Now, let's. this was the first approach. Next, let's explain the second approach. In the second approach, we will save this matrix as a binary npy file. So let's do that. We type numpy.save, we specify the name of the file, and keep in mind this extension, npy, and we specify the name of the matrix. Okay, so let's do that. And let's see the output. Okay, here it is. Hmm. NPY file format. Very interesting. Okay, now let's try to load the data from the matrix. To load the data from the matrix, we use the function numpy.load and we specify the name of the file. Okay, let's now double check the results. To do that, I will simply type double check and I will call this matrix double check 2 is equal to, and over here we will type load, loaded matrix 2, double equality sign, and original matrix. And here it is. Let's see the output. Here it is. Perfect. This procedure also works. Okay, that would be all for today. I hope that you like this video. If you like the the videos I'm creating, please press the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks a lot and have a nice day.